step, round kick, reach, double, right hand, back leg, round kick, cross, low high, cross, nice, hey up. good, we'll uh, go to brown belts and red belts next, okay, brown and red belts here, from the back stance, nice hand strike, guard comes up, with the left leg front kick, set the foot in front, you can do spin heel or spin crescent kick, up and around, foot goes all the way behind you, jump front kick, twin face punch in the front stance, cross the right arm on top, looking again to your right, nice hand strike, check the elbow, pull back, very important, pivot the left foot, side kick, when you bring the leg back, reach, the X block in the back stance. The X block, guys, is here. Thumbs down and away. Palms are out. The block is left hand on top of right. Pull both hands back. Left is closed. Right is open. Step. High block. Reverse punch and yell. That's the end of brown belt. Let's do that one more time. So from here, guys, end of the blue belt is the night hand. Back, uh, excuse me, hands come up, back leg front kick, spin all the way around, jump front kick, twin face punch, palms, or excuse me, knuckles turn slightly in, cross, knife hand, side kick, reach, X block, back stance, pull, high block, reverse punch. That's the end for brown belts. Now, right foot to left, hands on the belt or hips, Full fist. No, uh, look, a lot of you guys are doing weird stuff here. Close fist. Left foot. Ball of the foot. Drop the heel of the left foot. Lift the right. One. My hips are turned a little to the inside. Now with the right leg. Side kick. Foot goes down. Same step. Left ball of the foot. Left elbow over right. Drop the left. Raise the right. Both palms up. Back stance, two punches. Guys, here, the back arm straight out from the shoulder, not forward. Straight out, and your arms are on the same level. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is the drill we did yesterday. Guard comes up, back leg, front kick, turn, side kick, cross, knife hand. Excuse me. Other side, hands up. One, two, and three, that was embarrassing, that was bad, yeah. That's the end of the red belt for me. So, one more time, guys, from here. What's that? You gotta redo it, man. Yeah, that was bad. Here, a little faster. Step together, hands on the hips, eyes forward. One, two, side kick, down, step cross, switch, palms up, punch. Guard comes up, front kick, side kick, knife hand, sitting stance. Other side, one, two, and three. So now we'll go on to teen section. Okay, uh, guys, now we're going on to juniors black belt, but we'll uh, finish the form from here so everybody gets a chance to see. So from here, uh, we just finished the side kick, knife hand, step together, left foot to right, right hand on top, elbows up. This is a back stance, knife hand, low block. Hands come up. Left, twist kick, cross, inner forearm, low block. It's a cat two, so the left hand goes under for the inner forearm block, palms out, and then straight down, so you're landing with the low block. Now, palm is up underneath, outer forearm block, right hand on top, elbows up, step back with the left foot, knife hand, low block in the back stance. Prepare for the outside block, so the left arm is up, Elbow bent, the hand about ear level, right arm pointing straight ahead. Step back again to the back stance, outside block, across the face. With the right leg now turn, drive straight back. Spin side kick, pull the hands back. Twin face punch, front stance. Again, knuckles slightly in, not Superman, out here. Bring the right hand back, slow, press, across. Circle, left arm back and forward, right arm back, and forward. Elbow on the back of the left knuckle. Here's where a lot of people struggle. Pull, 
both hands up. I'm going to show you this in both directions. Put the right foot, step all the way through. Step, X block low, nice hand X block high. Close the left. Turn the palm in on the right, palm out on the left. Now roll, keep the wrist connected. Roll the right hand around. So palm is in and palm is out. They've switched. Palm out, palm in, palm in, palm out. Point the left hand, right hand is open, palm up. Turn the left foot sideways, slide the right foot over to the back stance and punch. The right palm on top of the left elbow. Hands are ready, left is closed, right is open. Left foot forward, right foot behind in an X stance. So the left foot is flat on the ball of the right foot, guys. Prepare, left hand is palm up and open for the palm block, right hand is closed. As I slide back, push straight down, elbow pulled back. This is a cat stance. Back foot sideways, ball of the front foot, half a foot length, both knees back. From here, looking behind me, guard comes up with the right leg, hook kick, foot goes down, left hand open, step, sitting stance, high block, and reverse, excuse me, and punch with the right, and back. Okay, so I'm gonna show you from the opposite side here, guys. When you get here, the circle, one, two, pull. As I step through, the first block is in the air. This is a cat two. So one, the right hand on top. Two, the uh, right hand on the outside. So fast, it's here. Pull, turn, one in the air, two as I land. Close the inside hand, palm in, palm out, prepare. Front leg over, front stance, back stance. Prepare, jump here, prepare. Up and I'm pushing straight down with the block. Okay, that's the entire form. Uh, I'm gonna stop it here and give you some instruction. Okay, so uh, what I recommend, we talked about the warm up, side kick and knife hand drills. And then I think it's always good to practice your form. You can do this a lot of different ways. You can do it very slow, focusing on all the positions we talked about, and really just kind of dedicate some time into every position for uh, teens, adults. You can do this a couple ways. Do your form three times as fast as you can, not worrying about technique, just do it as a cardio exercise, and then do it three times isometrically. What I mean by that is I'm gonna have 100% tension in all my muscles, for every position. So I'm gonna go as slow as if someone's fighting me the whole way. For every block or strike, lots and lots of muscular tension. Uh, if you go through your pattern maybe one time, it should give you a lot of uh, tension control, but also wear you out a little bit. And you can do again five to 10 times. What I'd like you to do, guys, if you're doing your form, maybe take a picture or a video and post it. If you would like criticism, critique or like an online lesson, feel free to either post it in the group or send it to me personally or Mr. Freeman and we will uh, go through it with you and, and give you some pointers and things to work on. Uh, now we're going to talk a little bit about self-defense and then I want to tell you about uh, what I talked about yesterday, Grease in the Groove, and we'll finish up. Okay guys, so our self-defense drill for today, I'm going to show you um, without a partner and then I'll show you with a partner. So this is uh, being choked against the wall. So hands on the neck. First thing I always want to do is lift my shoulders, tuck my chin, and protect my head. The danger when someone pushes you into a wall is not necessarily the push or the choke. It's that when you hit the wall, your head will go back. So if I tuck my chin, no matter how hard I hit the wall, I'm not going to go back. So chin tuck, shoulders up. My fingertips, I'm going to put on top of his fingers and then I start pulling until one of his fingers comes up. So as I'm pulling on the tips of the finger, when one comes out, I'm gonna grab it thumb down. So look, I switch thumb down. The other hand goes under, I'm gonna trap his hand to my uh, chest and break the finger this way. So one more time, 
knees bent, shoulders up, chin tucked, fingers on top. You're gonna kind of like playing the piano here till I get a finger to come up. When that finger comes up, grab it this way. Invert it. Thumb is down, fingers up here. And then second hand goes under, trap, and break. So let me show you with Mr. Freeman here. And one second. Grab, so if his hands are on my neck, he's choking, my hands go on top. And I start pulling on the fingers till one comes up. When I get one that comes off, invert it. So my thumb is down, fingers are up. This hand goes under. I'm gonna trap his hand to my chest and then break the finger this way. If I let this, if I just pull here, he's just gonna move his arm and I, I got nothing. So remember, chin up, uh, excuse me, shoulders up, chin down, and grab, start squeezing. Good, now when I get that finger, invert the grip, grab and trap, and break this way. Okay, try that very carefully. Um, I got one more thing to tell you guys. Okay guys, last thing uh, we talked, or I mentioned greasing the groove. So for a lot of you guys who are maybe weak on your push-ups or pull-ups or whatever it is you wanna get stronger at, um, here's a way to do it. So let's start with push-ups. Maybe some of you, if you start now, by the time we get back to class, you guys should be banging out knuckle push-ups. So let's say if you can do three technically correct push-ups, but that's your max. Well, then what you wanna do is pick something. You can either set a timer for every hour or every time you go into the kitchen or into your bedroom or whatever, every time you change the channel, pick a number, I'm gonna do one push-up. So every hour I do one push-up. Uh, or every time I go to the bathroom, I do one push-up or five push-ups, whatever. If your max is say 20, then you wanna pick a lower number, say eight to 12. And so over the course of the day, Instead of doing three push-ups one time and wearing myself out, I may do 30 push-ups throughout, spread throughout the day. And so if you do this over a period of time, uh, doing more reps, less often, but lower reps. So just one, two, three, five, whatever that number is, uh, you'll find that over three, four weeks, you're gonna get a lot stronger at that exercise. Uh, and the same, you could apply it to stretching as well. But for most of you, I would challenge you to do it to push-ups. Say, look, every time um, I watch a new TV show or change the channels or whatever you're doing, if you just stop and do three good push-ups and go from your knees, if you're working on push-ups on your knees, to a full push-up, from a full push-up to knuckle push-ups, uh, and get to where you're doing maybe sets of 10 throughout the day, then you may be doing 80 or 100 push-ups throughout the day. And if you did that, by the end of the, the time this nonsense is all over, you'd be pretty strong. So anyway, guys, as always, if you have any questions, uh, shoot us an email or post in here. I'm going to try and get these videos up today. And then uh, let's keep the conversations going. See you guys.